Hey guys, this is Tarot with Kittens, Weights and Tarot, and today is day three of Ethany's hashtag 31 days of tarot. And today we are diving into my top five oracle decks for 2020. So either ones that were purchased, that I just used a lot during 2020, or that I let go of. I mean, <laughs> um, but these are ones that um, actually I, I think, well, two of them, no, a few of them came during 2020. Um, but they were ordered before 2020, but, <laughs> and then some of them are just ones that I've had for a while, uh, that I continue to use. So, um, if you haven't already jumped in on this tag, I will put the link down below, uh, for Ethany's 31 days of tarot. So definitely check it out. You know, if you want to join along, maybe you want to make a YouTube video, maybe you want to put a bunch of days together and make a video, or if you can do it on Instagram or Facebook, I mean, it's totally up to you. But I think it's a lot of fun. So without further ado, let's jump in. So uh, the very first Oracle deck of my top five is the Crystal Reading Cards by Rochelle Charman. And I did a review of this actually recently as of like last week, last weekend. Um, but I've had this for many years. So I've had this for a while, like several years. <laughs> um, but it just so happens to be my soul Oracle deck. I mean... <laughs> Whenever I want some just straightforward, like, give me, I, I need to be hit upside the head. Um, this is the deck to do that. Um, sorry, there's like cat fur, but I mean, I'm kittens, weights of tarot. There's going to be cat fur. <laughs> uh, but anyway, so yeah, this is the deck for me. Um, whenever I, I just, I'm like, you know what? I just need some help. This is, this is the deck. Um, no, it doesn't mess around. Doesn't mince words it's very straightforward so that is the first of my top five um again the healing oracle crystal reading cards by rochelle charman um the next one is actually my deck <laughs> it is the wally's world oracle which you can find on my website kittensweightsandtarot.com the link is down below if you're interested but this was community created and community funded in 2019 um, so obviously I've been using it since then. I used it before then because I have my own prototype and stuff like that. Um, but you know, I, I can use, it's obviously cause it's something that I put together, you know, with our community. So these aren't just my images. Um, but these are the images of our, of our community of their sacred places and just the energy that comes through this portal of roses, which by the way, these are my roses from my garden. Um, it's just been amazing. I've been able to do it, uh, use this for daily draws. I've been able to use it in my, uh, I use it a lot in my client tarot readings and Oracle readings, um, as like themes, or, you know, I can pair this with tarot. I can read it just on its own. Um, but it forces you to use your intuition. And I believe it's so important for people to be able to trust their intuition. You know, I know it's so easy to say, well, I'll just go to somebody else and have them use their intuition, but really you are your own best compass. So, um, so yeah, this was definitely, um, a fave in 2020. And I think that it's just going to continue to be so because it's mine. <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, so maybe I'm a little biased, but I do use it a lot. So it's not like I'm just throwing that in there for nothing. Um, all right. Number three, the third deck, and these are actually in no particular order. So it's not like I like one more than the other. Like I like them all. I mean, I might be more partial to my deck because my deck. Um, but the next one is by Claudio Olivos, and this is the Sacred Mothers and Goddesses Oracle, which you can find on her website, olivosartstudio.com. Um, or Olivos Art, well, you know, I'll, I'll try to put the links for these down below if you guys are interested. Um, but I know that it's on Amazon, but it's, I mean, you want to support the creator. So straight to the source, go to her website. Like I said, I'll link it down below. Uh, Claudia is a wonderful, wonderful woman. Um, her art is fantastic. She's finishing up the art for a children's book right now. Uh, like, oh. <laughs> uh, her and her husband are freaking awesome. Uh, this deck was, I believe it was, it was funded through crowdsource, you know, crowdfunding before. And then this is the one that was picked up by a blue angel. Yes. Blue angel publishing. So, oh, this is my goddess, by the way. But I love that the art is like corner to corner. Like, you know, I mean, 
there are times that I kind of like borders like with my own deck I have a floral border but sometimes I just I just want I just want all the art you know because <laughs> she does such a fabulous job her use of color um, like you get sucked into like Gaia's eyes oh my gosh like it's it's wonderful um, I've been using this during my live chats uh, I've been using this during client readings again I can use it alone I can use it with tarot but yeah definitely a fave for 2020 it's it's got to be in there and I know it's going to be a fave for quite some time actually you know what I don't have decks that aren't my faves because when they're not a fave anymore I feel that that's an injustice to the creator um, and that should move on to somebody who will utilize it so that's just my thing all right so this next one is called the I don't care oracle and this was created by Steph Gandin and uh, Wasima over at Wasi Magic, uh, also known as Core Magic. And um, yeah, I well, Steph is my best friend from Belgium. And I remember uh, when they were finding the artist for this. So the um, the artist is Cam Gonzalez. And I always thought that kind of looked like me. <laughs> Um, but I remember when she was picking out the images for this. So I got to see the whole process of this deck. So for me, it means even more. Um, but here's the backings. It's just so much fun. It's so beautiful. It's so vibrant. The artist is freaking awesome. I'm going to say that a lot. Sorry, freaking awesome. It's kind of redundant, but it works. Um, but yeah, I have loved using, I, I told Steph, even if you weren't my best friend, I would still buy this like seriously I'm being honest you know I would still have got this deck anyway because of just the keywords and the images and you know just kind of the, the energy that's coming off of this deck so yes it was created by my bestie and Wasima who's freaking awesome but it's also just on its own a great deck <laughs> I love that one um, but yeah, it's excellent. So you guys go check it out. Um, and actually I'm noticing here that a lot of these decks are indie decks. So support your indie deck creators. Um, and it's awesome if people get picked up by a publisher, that's cool too. Um, but you know, we, we want to support people who are coming out with, with new stuff. And if their new stuff, you know, gets picked up and can be distributed to the masses, that's way cool as well. All right, this very last one is called the Nest of Light Oracle. Um, and this one was created by uh, Wasima over at Core Magic. So this is Wasima's deck, and this is my friend Steph's deck. But um, Wasima kind of helped uh, Steph get this out there. But it is Steph's deck, and this one is Wasima's. Um, and I, I supported her on um, Kickstarter, actually, for this deck. Um, because I, I love the prototype images she had for this. So this is the backing. Um, but oh my gosh. Um, and let me see if I can find it on here. Yeah, the it's just awesome. <laughs> it's just, I mean, look at these images, these keywords. I mean, I think I need to use it after this video. <laughs> I just can't get enough of it. Um, so yeah, again, another indie deck. Steph's deck is an indie deck. Uh, Claudius started off as a as an indie deck. Mine was indie or is indie. Um, Crystal reading cards. I think is the only one that is is now. Well, you know, mass production. Of course, Claudius is now too. But you know, they all started with indie indie creators. You know. And if you guys are thinking of creating a deck, I mean, go for it. 2021, you go for it. I don't, you know, I know sometimes people feel self-conscious of like, oh, I don't know. Will people like it? And I don't think it's, it's about that. If you feel like you want to put some creativity out there and it just, just the feeling of creating something and then putting it out there, it doesn't matter if people want to buy it or not. It's you birthed something. You put some awesome energy out there and the world needed it. Um, so keep that in mind. If any of you are on the, the fence of like, mm, I don't know, should I create a tarot deck this year or an Oracle deck? This is me telling you, yes, <laughs> do the thing regardless of, um, how you think it will do with people being accepting of it or not. 
because um, your, your worth is not based on the acceptance of others. FYI. Okay, so that's it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, my top five Oracle decks for 2020. Um, hashtag 31 Days of Tarot, created by Ethne. Uh, and uh, yeah, I will catch you spiritual homies later. If you did this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to click subscribe. Don't forget to click that ding, ding, ding notification bell for more videos just like this. And if you want to catch a reading from me, head over to www.kittensweightsandtarot.com. I have a lot of different types of readings. I have my bracelets that I make, my room of body sprays, my salves, which people really like, my goddess of the rose salve. Uh, I have travel witch altar pendants, ancestral altar pendants, rainbow bridge pendants. Um, and I also have oh, my Wally's World Oracle, so definitely check that out. Um, and I have my newsletter, which is absolutely free to sign up. Um, I hit your inbox on the first of every month. I don't play the spam game, so all you get from me is a newsletter. <laughs> but it has witchy DIYs, arts and crafts DIYs, uh, channels that I'm watching, tea that I'm drinking, herbs that I'm using, crystals that I'm using, decks that I'm using, etc., etc. If that interests you, definitely go check it out. Um, and hey, sign up for the Leon Mystery School. It is myself and several other wonderful teachers from here on YouTube helping to expand your horizons, expand your knowledge in the realm of mind astrology, love spells, uh, ancestral work, working with uh, the tarot and past lives, learning to uh, program and work with crystals, or even learning the science spirituality connection with crystals. Um, there's a lot of good stuff, so definitely check it out. There's four week long courses. Um, so they're, they're four weeks long. <laughs> and uh, they have, um, you know, it is go your own pace, but there's like PDFs, there's um, PowerPoints, there's uh, audio, there's instructional video. You get to meet with your instructors once a week, one on one, share ideas, uh, come together as a community, um, and feel, you know, feel, you know, that you you're you are just as valuable as the person who is instructing. You know, it's it's more of a, a two way street. Um, and you get a certificate of completion at the end of your four weeks. Again, go at your own pace, but uh, it is signed by myself, Wally, and Loki. <laughs> so definitely go check it out. And if you want to throw a little love my way, think about joining the KWT tribe over at patreon.com slash kittens, weights, and tarot. Uh, there's a lot of goodies over there, but I appreciate uh, the support that my homies over there uh, afford me so that I can afford to uh, create more and do more for you spiritual homies. All right, so that's it for me. Peace, love, and chicken grease. Peace out.